you'd like to learn how to make balloon hats, you've come to the right place. Here are some of the skills that you'll need. Know how to make a basic twist, and of course we have a video that teaches you step by step through all of these uh, different twists. You'll need to know how to make a pinch twist. A fold twist. And you need to know how to cut a balloon when you have excess balloon left over after you make your sculpture. And of course, if you need to, you can also rip the balloon if you know that advanced technique. And once again, we do have a video where we explain that. And here's a tassel that we'll be using in one of our balloons in this video. Let's get started with a braided hat. You need three balloons. It's great to use different colors for contrast. It makes a very colorful balloon. Now you line up the uh, three ends of the balloon at the nozzle and make one basic twist combining the three balloons so they're all connected. At this point, you simply braid the balloon. It's just like braiding hair. So if you already know the technique, it's exactly the same. We're going to show you uh, from a closer view if you're not unfamiliar with the technique, but you're just taking three strands, in this case three balloons, and the outer balloon always goes in the center. So the blue goes in the center, red, yellow, followed by blue. You can see how they overlap and always go in from the outside. Just simple braiding technique. You're going to do this for the entire balloon. Finish this up quickly, we'll speed it up. And now you have one long braid made of balloons. You twist them at the end to connect them. Now to finish the hat, take the uh, basic twists at the end and twist them together. This is a great hat, not only is it colorful, it also is very forgiving. It'll fit on a lot of different size heads. You can kind of just wiggle it around a little bit as you put it on somebody's head and it will uh, usually just fit. So this is a great hat to make at parties if you have time to inflate three different balloons. That's the braided hat. We're going to call this one a ring hat. Um, you can actually just leave it as is. We just happen to put a flower on it just to show you what you can do. You're going to need one balloon. Inflate it to maybe a quarter inch from the end, half inch. You can start with a small basic twist. Now you're making the portion that goes over the head. You're going to have to measure this uh, around the person that you're making it for. Now just take that basic twist and um, create a ring. And now you have a hat. I've seen people wear these. It's uh, a hat on its own. We're going to dress it up just a little bit. You can actually put pretty much any balloon sculpture you want. Here we have a flower. And yes, we do have a video that teaches you how to make the flower for your hat here. And we're going to put it in the pinch twist to make it face forward. Again, um, you can put anything on here. Any animal you make, a tiger, dog. Uh, we just happen to use a flower here uh, just to show you that you can accessorize these balloons and use these as a start for far more elaborate, detailed balloons. This we'll call a helmet hat. This one's using two balloons as you see it here, but the basic helmet is just one balloon. You're going to need one or two balloons. Let's just say one for now. Inflate it to almost near the end. Just leave about a half inch. Create a basic twist, small one. Now you're going to measure just as you did with the ring hat for the size of the head. For uh, explanation purposes here, I've made it a bit large. All right, now you're gonna take the remaining balloon and bend it over the top and then connect it again with a small basic twist. And you can see how this forms a hat. You could hand out this hat as is, 
But what most people do, what most balloon artists do, is use this as a start for adding other balloons and to make more detailed, more colorful creations. So again, we have a basic helmet hat here, but we're going to accessorize it with one balloon and we'll show you how. Take your second balloon, inflate it almost to the end. Now what we did was we made a basic twist right in the middle and we're putting it around the basic twist of the helmet. And you can see we have these two strands. Connect the uh, second balloon together at the other end using a twist, twisting them together. Now twist this into the basic twist at the other end of the helmet. And you can see we've, we've greatly uh, enhanced this balloon by adding a second color and more detail. And from here, the sky's the limit. You can add uh, two, three, four more balloons. This is kind of the basic start of those elaborate um, balloon hats that you often see. This is a two balloon jester hat. You're going to need two balloons and you uh, inflate them leaving a lot of uninflated end, maybe four or five inches. I didn't quite get these even here, but you'll see how we even them out at the end. Take your first balloon and make a pinch twist at the end. Now here's the tricky part. You're going to have to estimate approximately half of a person's head. So uh, you're going to make another pinch twist, and this is going to create half of the part that goes around the head. Take your second balloon, and you're essentially doing the same thing. You want it to be fairly symmetrical, so make your pinch twist. And now here I'm just showing you how I measure. I'm going to create a second length that's approximately the same length as the first on the first balloon. So there's another pinch twist. And they're about the same length. They go in opposite directions and then taking these pinch twists you're going to connect the balloons together. So twist the different pinch twists together from the two balloons and you form the portion that goes around the head. Here I'm just using a technique to kind of round them out a little bit so it fits better on a person's head. And now we're going to add the detail at the end with the tassels. See, so cross them over. Take the two remaining ends of the balloon and cross them over. And twist them together. Now you're going to make the tassel. Squeeze a small basic twist all the way to the end of the balloon. There you go. Now because the yellow one is quite a bit longer, we're going to make a bigger uh, basic twist to even it out just a little bit. And there you have a two balloon jester style hat. This is great for parties. It's uh, colorful and you have these tassels that bounce around as a person wears them. It creates a lot of interest and it's a lot of fun. I'm gonna call this a loop hat. I've never actually seen anybody make it, but it's in the picture here. You're essentially making a sword and inflate the balloon till about an inch from the end. And all you're going to do is make a small basic or pinch twist. We're going to use a basic here. Now you're going to make a loop. I made this loop a little bit because this is actually the uh, footage from my sword video. But you're making a loop. And then you insert the other end through the loop until it fits on a person's head. first balloon is going to make the crown itself. This is the part that goes around the person's head. The second balloon is for the points of the crown. Let's get started. Get your first balloon, 
inflate it to about four or five inches from the end. Starting at the nozzle end, create a pinch twist. Notice how the nozzle is incorporated into the pinch twist. This is followed by a small basic twist about two inches. Another pinch twist. Now you're going to make a basic twist just a little bigger, maybe three inches. You can make this one two inches to match the first basic twist, but I think it looks better and I will show you why in a little, more, uh, little while. Um, we're gonna make another pinch twist to follow. We are making the um, part of the crown that goes around a person's head. Again, the uh, second basic twist is slightly bigger. The third basic twist Try and make it about the same size as the first. And one more basic twist. Now the remaining part of the balloon is what becomes, uh, what wraps around the head of the person you're making the crown balloon for. Now I can tell already at this point that this uh, crown will fit just fine on an adult's head but obviously if you're working for uh, making a crown for a kid you're gonna have to adjust this length so what some balloon artists do is actually wrap the uh, crown around the uh, recipient's head and actually measure where the crown goes and then you will have to adjust the end here I'm just taking the nozzle the uh, uninflated end and wrapping it around the final pinch twist which I know will fit around an adult but obviously again if we have a kid you're gonna have to twist a little further in and then cut and discard the remaining balloon but that gives you your basic crown now for the points take your second balloon I like to use a different color but you can use the same color inflate to about four or five inches from the end it's really not crucial you're gonna be uh, cutting off and tossing away a majority of the this balloon or a portion of this balloon wrap the nozzle around one of the end pinch twists several times there now you're going to begin the points make a basic twist maybe two or three inches a pinch twist And now you want this next basic twist to match the first one for symmetry. It gives you a nice even point. See how that's coming along? And then you take the end of that basic twist and wrap it around the pinch twist to secure it. And there you have your first point of three points. Now remember how I talked about having the middle basic twist a little longer? Here's what I'm going to do. This basic twist I'm going to make slightly taller as you can see here. Now you can make it the same length if you would like the points to be the same height. Uh, so we made a basic twist a little longer, a pinch twist, and then again one more basic twist to match the um, one right next to it. And now wrap this around the pinch twist. You can see two of our three points for the crown. And finally, for the last point, you'll want to match the first point. So again, a basic twist. Pinch twist. And one more basic twist to match. And now wrap this around the final pinch twist. And discard the rest of the balloon. You can cut it off with a pair of scissors and deflate it. I chose an advanced technique. Again, we have a video that explains that, which is, uh, you'll find a link 
in our information section below. Wrap the remaining balloon around the final pinch twist there. A few adjustments, but as you can see, you have a nice serviceable crown. Anyway, please subscribe. We have lots more uh, balloon projects in the future. Hope you liked the video. Please like and comment. Thanks for watching. Till next time.